Hey guys, so I want to take a second to talk about whether or not you should handle mouse pups. I think it's a somewhat controversial topic sometimes based on uh, <laughs> social media forums and, and whatnot. But uh, let me grab some pups here. And you hear it talked about a lot. Should you handle pups? Uh, and different people have different ideas about this. Um, I think the casual pet owner might be afraid that the mother will eat her pups if you handle them. And that's definitely a danger. Uh, that does happen. Um, it hasn't happened to me, uh, at least since I've been breeding mice as an adult. It did happen to me once when I was breeding mice back when I was like 17 years old. In fact, anything that stresses the mother can cause her to eat her offspring. And it is not a, a pretty thing to observe. <laughs> Uh, but loud noises, anything that's stressful, the lights, um, handling the pups, not having enough food, and having too many mice in the cage, anything like that can cause uh, the mother to get stressed and eat her own pups. Uh, and so generally you want to avoid things that are stressing the pups, right? Um, but uh, there's another reason. Um, some mouse breeders, when they're selecting for mice, they want to select for the tamest mice. And so they want to, they want their mice to have a genetic predisposition towards tameness um, because there's different ways of getting sort of a tame behavior. Um, and it can be through conditioning or habituation, which I will make videos talking about all of these things. Um, but the mice can also have a genetic predisposition to being tame. So as you can see, these pups here are pretty tame. Um, and so some breeders don't want conditioning or habituation to affect the tameness of the mice. They want the mouse's behavior to be based solely on genetics, um, and so they choose not to handle their pups so that the handling doesn't influence their behavior. Let me move everybody back a little bit. Something like that. Um, so that, you know, so that the genetics, the behavior isn't influenced by the mouse's experiences. Um, however, I, on the other hand, I do handle my mouse pups. Um, and I want to say too that if you're not sure about whether or not you should handle your mouse pups or if you're not sure where your mice came from, uh, you're not familiar with handling mice, then maybe you don't want to, <laughs> you know, because there is a risk that the mother might eat the pups. Um, so do be cautious. However, um, one of the things that happens uh, when you handle pups is uh, you handle the pups, they get a little stress from the handling actually. So there's a couple things that happen. So one is that they become habituated to human contact, meaning that they just get used to being handled by humans and, it, and eventually it wouldn't stress them out as much. The other thing is, is that they do get stressed by being handled and be, by being separated from the mother. Um, but when they're stressed and then you give them back to the mother, this causes the mother to receive them and then groom them vigorously. And so if you've ever, if you've ever seen this, you give the baby back to its mother, she will lick it all over and it'll calm the baby down. And, um, or the pup rather. And what happens is, is that uh, this actually helps the mouse better regulate its stress levels later in life. And so this um, cycle of getting stressed by handling uh, habituates them, gets them stressed, puts them back with the mother, the mother calms them down, and they become better able to control their stress later in life. And with this better um, or improved stress control, this improved stress regulation, mice actually make better mothers later in life, and they can actually produce, they're more fertile, and so they might have better offspring, uh, not better offspring, but more offspring uh, later in life. And so these are the reasons why I uh, handle my pups for this reason. Um, <laughs> also because they're super cute. Like, how can you argue that these aren't the cutest things? Um, yeah, super duper cute. Uh, but yeah, so be careful if you choose to handle your mice. Um, and I, I'm going to make some more videos on this, but this is uh, just a starter one for now.